Hey guys, so today we're in the back of my Sienna camper and we're gonna try out this um, pot and pan combo. And you can see it's not that big at all. And it's by Roy, Roy, Roy DX. I think that's what it is, Roy DX, this clip-in version. And the nice thing about it is that these pots and pans are all nesting in each other and they don't have separate handles. So there's a separate handle that you can click onto everything. And and I think that's going to give us a really good space saving type setup so that, uh, you know, I could store it in my drawers and things like that. But let's open it up and give it a shot. All right, so let's unbox this and give it a shot. And it's this clip in version again by Roy DX see what's in the box all right great so it comes with these um, pots and pans uh, separators so it's soft that they're they're not clanging against each other looks like there's three of them okay the glass lid for the smaller pot looks like a plastic tray okay Glass lid for the bigger pots. All right, you can see the pans are nestled in each other, so that's going to be perfect. Really space saving. Stainless steel, and this is a thick pot. This is not a cheap, thin plot. Pot, not a plot. <laughs> okay. So they would nestle in each other like that. Maybe I could keep this too. Okay, so another lid for the medium size. Oh, cool, look at this. I love these, these little strainer types. So when you're steaming or you're um, cooking crawfish or something, these work great. All right, so more of these lid things goes over them so if you i guess it's if um you're cooking and there's food in here you could just double it as a storage container and you just put on the lid which i think is kind of cool that's pretty smart so there, there are you know different lids for different sizes okay like a saucepan i guess but that's the bottom of that also all right one last one and this is the the frying pan so again the nice thing is that it comes with this handle see the handle there's a locking mechanism and this is what i've been wanting to try out let's see okay you see that you, you lock it in and then you release it you unlock and then you release grab it and there's a nice firm hold so you could see the advantage of this for my camper in that if i want to bring this pot this pan it's going to be a lot smaller than if i bring a pan with a handle and i could bring you know, let's say I, I don't necessarily need, you know, both sizes all the time. I could just bring one or the other. I bet you. By. Bring something like this. I'm going to be in great shape. But if I do want to steam or something like that, I could bring this guy in here guy in here all right so you can see i can have all those pans and it's just this big that's it and that's going to be great all right i just realized these lids come with a little slot so put in your your handle and the lid will fit right over that that's pretty cool made pretty nice nice silicon uh, border on the lids all right so on the back here's the engravings on the back 
1810 stainless steel. It looks really good. And in all the pans, there's some measuring um, units. So that's nice and handy. You don't need a measuring cup. All right, I didn't notice it in the packaging, but it actually comes with two handles, not just one like I originally thought. But the main thing is cooking. So let's cook something. All right, guys, so I'm going to cook lunch for the family today. So literally, let's get cooking. All right, so first up, I'm going to boil some water. I got the handle on that. And I'm going to cook two ways. With the water, I'm going to use um, the butane stove that I have. Okay. Put that lid on. And we're going to let that boil while we're prepping the rest of the food. All right, so real simple. I got some shrimp, garlic, butter, olive oil, and a green onion. And we're going to saute it up in this pan. All right, just notice it's getting a little hot in here because of that. But I got the fix for that, which is this little fan. I put it on low and I'm going to use that to blow out uh, the steam and hot air. Got to use a lot of garlic. that aside next up I need some green onions okay you can see it's steaming quite a bit now let me turn down the flame and put in the pasta pasta All right, so while that's cooking, I want to start to saute the, the shrimp. All right, so for the frying, I want to try using it with my induction cooktop. Make sure the pasta doesn't stick. All right. Get some oil in there. You can see I'm on a bit of a an incline because all the oil is going this way. But now I'm going to need this handle. And I want to put it on this top. So one of the nice things about having this stainless steel pan is that it will work on the induction hook cooktops, which is pretty important for my camper since the idea is that I want to use solar power as much as I can and not use uh gas fuel like i am here but i just needed a second one to boil the water while i'm cooking all right got some uh, basic italian seasoning and some lowry seasoned salt get that ready garlic smelling great Going to add some butter. If you can't see it from the camera, the, the fan's picking up uh, most of the steam, uh, blowing it out the window pretty well. And I could turn it higher if I need to. Add the green onions.
Smelling great. Check on the pasta. All right, looking good. Gonna add the shrimp. Okay, so now I'm gonna season it. Okay, looks like the pasta is done. Turn that off. Looking great. All right, so to strain the pasta, I'm going to use that that pan that that steaming pan it came with. And yes, I'm going just straight down my sink. Gonna borrow that that handle. All right, we'll let that sit. Continue to saute the shrimp. Looking good. All right, so once the shrimp is completely done, now I could throw in the pasta. And I like to saute my pasta with my sauce so that uh, the flavors infuse a little bit better. But some, some of you might like to just pour it over. All right, that looks pretty good. One last, let's turn that off. All right, one last ingredient, some Parmesan cheese. There, gonna mix that around. And there, you have shrimp, garlic pasta, cooking it in my car, boiling water, straining it in my sink, using my new stainless steel pans. Pretty cool. It's time for me to eat.